Let's make these sterling silver flower earrings. All of these materials can be bought as a project kit by clicking on the link in the description. Place a 7mm disc in the centre of one of the larger 18mm discs and draw around the 7mm disc with a scribe or a pen. To find the exact centre, you could use dividers, Draw four lines across the centre of the 18mm disc to create eight equal segments. Place one of the large discs on a bench peg and use a piercing saw to cut down each of the lines of the segment. Stop cutting just after the centre circle that's drawn. Draw a V-shape at each cutout line on the large silver disc. Place the large silver disc on a bench peg and use a piercing saw to cut along the V-lines to remove these sections. Use a flat file to round off the pointy edges from cutting out the V-sections. Next, use emery sticks on the edges, working from the coarsest to the finest emery stick until all of your edges are smooth. These discs are the flower shapes. Place one of the small discs on a steel block and place the centre punch on top. Hit the top of the centre punch with a hammer so that the centre punch creates a dot on the disc. Repeat this process to form a dotty pattern all over the discs, keeping the dots clustered in the middle of the disc. Place the flower shapes on a heat proof block or wire mesh. Add a small amount of medium solder paste to the reverse of the smallest dotty disc, just enough to cover the whole area. Place the smallest disc in the middle of the top of the larger flower shapes with the solder in between the shapes and the dotty pattern facing up. Use a hand blowtorch to heat up each flower shape until the solder melts and flows. Leave each shape to cool for a minute. Quench each flower shape in water using tweezers. Place each shape in a warm pickle solution for five minutes or until clean. Remove the shapes from the pickle using plastic tweezers. Take two oval jump rings and close the jump rings flush. Add a small amount of easy solder paste to each jump ring to the side where the jump ring join is. Add just enough solder to cover the length of the jump ring. Place each flower on a heat-proof block and place the jump ring horizontally on the top of the flower. Heat each flower shape using a hand blow torch until the solder melts and flows. The top half of the jump ring should hang over the top of the flower and the bottom half of the jump ring where the join and solder is should be in contact and sit flat on the flower shape. Quench each flower shape in water using tweezers. Next, place each shape in a warm pickle solution for five minutes or until clean. Polish the flowers using a silver polishing cloth. Add a brushed, scratchy finish by rubbing each flower with a metal wire brush. Attach the hook wires by gripping each side of the hoop end with pliers and twisting to open. Thread the earring loop through the silver hoop on the top of the flower. Close the hook wires by gripping each side of the hoop end with the pliers and twisting to close. If you like this 
project, you can buy all the materials on the Cooks and Gold website. Thank you.